Good day and welcome back. Today we will be looking at length and since we're in South Africa we will be looking at the metric measuring units. Measuring instruments, converting measurements and choosing a correct measuring instrument and unit for certain distances. When we look at measuring instruments, first we have the odometer. It is in meters and then it goes over to kilometers as soon as you've driven a thousand meters it um, goes over to kilometers in certain countries this is in mileage but in South Africa and certain other countries it is measured in kilometers then we have our trundle wheel it measures centimeters and after every meter it makes a click sound and it gives a little, it has a little odometer here that also shows you the distance. All the trundle wheels did not have this little odometer and you had to keep track of how many clicks you heard. Then we have our measuring tape here. That These little lines is millimeters and those that is a whole centimeter and it also has a few meters. Then we have our basic ruler which is in millimeters and centimeters. Some rulers also have inches. Then we have our tape measure. This is mostly used in the building industry and for more rugged work. And the bigger ones is also used in certain sports like athletics. Okay, it also has the very small lines for millimeters and our centimeters and also meters. Then our standard measurements, we have millimeters and centimeters, meters and kilometers. As said previously, we are using the metric units. So 10 millimeters is equal to one centimeter, 100 centimeters is equal to a meter. And since 10 times 100 gives me a thousand, a thousand millimeters will be equal to one meter. And similarly, 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. Now I have a few pictures here. Let's think about which measuring instrument and unit you will use to measure the following in real life. If you're driving from one town to another on this first road, what measuring instrument and unit will you use? And this is a racing track. And then we have shoes, a rugby field, and then crayons. For those of you that are not familiar with rugby, a rugby field is more or less the same size than a soccer or a football field. Let's have a think about what we will use. If you said kilometer with the distance between time to be using an odometer of a vehicle, that is correct. For a racing track, we will also use our odometers and it will be in kilometers. For shoes you can use a measuring tape or your ruler and you can measure it in centimeters or millimeters. Then our sports field we will meet, measure in meters and we will either use a very long measuring tape or a trundle wheel. And for our crayons we can use a ruler or a tape measure or a measuring tape and we will be using millimeters or centimeters. When we convert measuring units we do it as follows. When you go from centimeter to millimeter we have to multiply with 10 since there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. When we go from millimeter to centimeter I have to do the opposite or the inverse operation, which means I will have to divide by 10. Meter to centimeter, there's 100 centimeters in a meter, and therefore I multiply with 100. If I go from centimeter to meter, opposite operation, divide by 100. Meter to millimeter, there's 1,000 millimeters in one meter, and therefore I will multiply with 1,000. If I go from millimeter to a meter, I will use the opposite operation again, which will mean I divide by a thousand. Kilometer to meter, multiply with a thousand, 
meter to kilometer are divided by a thousand. You need to make sure you understand when to multiply and when to divide. When you go from a bigger to a smaller measuring unit, you multiply. When you go from a smaller measuring unit to a bigger one, you divide. Make sure to get that right. Let's look at a few examples. Convert the following to meters. If I have 150 centimeters, remember I'm going to a bigger measuring unit and therefore I divide. I divide with 100 because there's 100 centimeters in a meter. Whenever I divide, easy, I can imagine there is a comma there because this is a whole number. 100 has two zeros. So I move this imaginary comma to spaces 1, 2, and it will give me 1,5 meters or 1 meter 50 centimeters or 1.5 meter. They are all equal but different ways to write it. If I have 12 kilometers and I want to go to meter, I'm going to a smaller measuring unit, so I'm multiplying. I'm multiplying with a thousand because I know there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. So I add three zeros to my 12 and that will give me 12,000 meters. When I have 1,800 millimeters and I want to go to meters, I'm going from a small measuring unit to a bigger one. Therefore, I divide and I divide with a thousand since there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. Once again, I can move my imaginary comma three spaces since there are three zeros in a thousand. If I move it one, two, three, and there's my answer, one comma eight meters. Then I have kilometers to meters, kilometers meters is from a big to a smaller measuring unit so I am multiplying with a thousand since there's a thousand meters in a kilometer now whenever I multiply I move my imaginary comma to the right so as you can see I have one digit there so I need to add two more and I can't just add random digits I add zeros so I need two zeros and there's my answer 1300 meters see my comma was here and i moved it one two three spaces let's quickly revise what we learned today we looked at different measuring instruments what we will use them for we looked at the metric standard measurements millimeter centimeter meter and kilometer and we looked at how to convert measuring units i hope this was helpful and i'll talk to you again next time stay safe